Um, on to strategy, I think that all of these strategies are applicable in general job search, but I think that for development, um, and especially we're in, a, in an era where we are doing a lot of career changes, we're doing something for years and we want to change. Um, so I think that there are different strategies to be had um, in entering the field at entry level, mid-level or senior level. And this is something that uh, you can start thinking about as a, as, a, as a student as well. If you want to go into development right away or at a mid-career or at a senior level, uh, because there are so many different ways to be involved in development. And I think that um, especially for entry level, I think that a lot of times uh, I al always recommend people to work and I think that if I had gone back, I would probably work a little bit longer before even going to law school. So I, I think that after a bachelor's degree, it makes sense to even if it's an um, admin role to go into a think tank, think tank that you think is, think is doing good work or international organization or NGO to really get a feel for what it's like and, and figure out what it is that you want to do. It could be law school, it could be MBA, it could be uh, you know, study international studies, but to really get that experience and get your foot in the door there, I think is, is very important. And then to go on to do another degree these days are, it's not, I, I cannot say um, that it is required, but these days are very common. And I see that a lot of the jobs do have a requirement of master's degree if you do want to go into substantive um, work. Um, so I think that that's, uh, if I had gone back or if I look back, that's probably what I would do for to work a year or two, um, then kind of hone in your focus, go into master's or law or MBA or whatnot, and then and then and then come out and into a mid-level career. And if you um, t tell yourself, if you are, for instance, already a lawyer, and you say, "Well, I want to go into law firm for a few years and go into development," that's also an excellent strategy, especially for development financing institutions. If you go into a law firm focused on project finance or some transactional work, then that's very, very relevant to the work of development financing institutions. And senior level as well. Uh, these days, I, uh, there, are, there are many groups um, of senior lawyers that provide really excellent service to some African governments in negotiating concession agreements or renegotiating some of these concession agreements. So even um, at senior level, you can elect to uh, be more involved in development work um, so I think that that's something that you want to think about at, a, at, a, uh, at an early stage. Um, I think that another thing that's uh, very important is networking. Um, of course, uh, networking, I think that um, it is helpful to an extent that you really get a better idea of what that organization that you're interested in actually is looking for. Um, it may not lead to a job right away, but I think that it's, it is very important to kind of show that interest. And then over the course of time, you can make some meaningful connections that could um, get your job down the road. Languages, I think, is important. Um, of course, uh, for me right now at AFDB, it's an organization that speaks English as well as French. And a, a lot of the board meetings, uh, large board meetings, we have translation devices um, to, to make it possible for a uh, person who speaks either language can participate. However, um, I think that having strong language is very, it's uh, very important. It's not just to get the job done, but it's, it's also to um, connect with the people that you're working with. Uh, so, uh, and also obviously it is a valuable skill. Um, so it's, uh, I think that it is very important to think about picking up a language according to the region that you want to work in. French for um, Africa or even Portuguese, um, Spanish for America. Uh, so developing those skills. And I would think that, I would say that being in development, uh, staying flexible is, 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 it can be a great asset. And a lot of times development organizations and NGOs do value that. And I think that there are a couple of reasons. It's, it's uh, of course, because some of the environment that you will be working in as a development worker will be challenging. Um, you may not connect with the culture right away. You may not speak the language, um, but you, as a project manager, as a lawyer, um, as you know, the uh, as a as a project associate, you have to go in there, jump in there, and, and really be able to um, make impact. So I think that being uh, staying flexible in itself can be a, a great asset. Um, and how to get the foot in the door? 
I think is a question in a lot of people's mind. Uh, I think that it really has to be from demonstrated interest through internship, externship, it could be pro bono work, it could even be academic articles. And these are the things that you can start doing now. Even if you are not working in development, you can start doing research and write um, academic articles. It could be a longer, it could be short article, anything that can really demonstrate that you 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 care about these issues that you are knowledgeable in this issue will go a long way when it comes when it uh, when the time comes for you to apply for a job in certain um discipline um so with with that i would um, like to hand it over back to caitlin and take some questions great thank you so much jung it was great hearing uh, more about your path into the field uh, as well as your tips for for anyone else looking to to get into it so thank you so much we do have a list of questions to get to and some that have come in, so we'll get started uh, with the Q&A. The first question we have is, how did you successfully leverage your law experience when you were communicating in applications, your ability to adapt to the needs and requirements of international development positions? Um, I think that um, it really, uh, actually having a law degree is very, it's in itself a very useful tool because I think that law degree actually uh, demonstrates that you can be, you, you are able to adapt. Um, in law school, that's exactly what, what they teach us. Um, the different classes that you're taking um, every year and that actually already demonstrates that you, you can be flexible. But I think for me, um, in addition to all of that, another thing was that I was um, always kind of working as an external intern at organizations that are doing different things. Um, so, and, and being in law school is really excellent for that because just being in law school, you can pick up different externships to get yourself involved in different topics. And just by doing that um, through your resume, you can already demonstrate that you can adapt to different needs and requirements. 